Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where your iPhone apps are just taking a long time to install or to update. Now this can happen for a lot of different reasons, but the main reason why this happens is because you have a weak internet connection. Now what does that mean? Well, essentially you're just pre either pretty far away from your network router or your internet that you have is extremely slow. Now let me give you an example. I have like a bunch of apps that I haven't updated in a very long time. But me personally, I'm actually kind of far away from the router. It's a couple floors away. So essentially the best thing to do is for me to get closer to that internet router. Now let's go and take Jetpack Joyride as an example. If I go and click the cloud icon here and I go and try to download it, it may take like 20, 10 minutes to go and download this app. So again, the best thing for me to do personally is to move closer to that router if I'm on Wi-Fi. Now let's say I'm not on Wi-Fi, but the apps are still taking a very long time. What I would recommend doing at that point is to go ahead and click on your you know, settings right here and you want to make your way over to your cellular connection or you can even go under Wi-Fi and connect to a faster Wi-Fi network or connect to a better cell connection signal. But how do you connect to a better cell connection signal? There's really not much you can do. You can either connect to better Wi-Fi, you can you know, move your phone around, try to see what can go on. But another thing you can possibly do is to close out of any app that you think may be taking up a lot of internet. So things like Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, even if you're not using them, they could still be using a little bit of internet in the background because of the background app refresh. So sometimes you can go ahead and close out of them. It will have a very small effect on you know how fast these apps download, but that is pretty much another thing you can do. On top of that, you can also try updating your iPhone and see if that actually ends up fixing the issue as well. So what you can do is you can click on general in your iPhone settings. You'll click on software update, which is right here. And you want to see if there's an update available for your phone. If there is, then you want to go ahead and update for it. As you can see, I do have one. If you don't have one, then you may have to restart your phone and try again and see if it takes a, you know, a little bit faster of a time. But like I mentioned, if you have a very big app, it's probably going to take a long time regardless. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.